Hello guys and welcome to another On The Desk with me Chains and the Susu Girl So yeah, uh, as you can tell you're on Handycam today and I'm basically just going through a couple of stuff that uh, I'm on with Well, as you can tell straight away uh, this is going to be my games day uh, open competition entry uh, I've been doing some work on it so far uh, yeah but as you can tell I've got the uh, games day uh, Skaven Wallard zoom in on him all painted up and everything now I will bring him to one side after I've explained the, the piece because I've actually got a question for you a uh, few skulls yeah. tiles going all the way up over the top now this piece is basically going to be uh, a sewer tunnel that the Skaven guy is coming down I may add more miniatures to it I don't, don't know at the moment in time it depends why I've got in my bit box so we're going to have water effects in the uh, in the sewer uh, as if it's the water's flowing I'm not going to have water coming over the edge um, I'm just not going to do that and there's going to be uh, kind of like bars coming down but I think I might bend them as if they've been broken or you know bent open do uh, let scathing come through you know like a rat ogre's bent the bars and you know, Skaven can get through. Uh, got some more skulls at random positions, as if uh, you know materials have been a little bit scarce and they've just had what they've pretty much had at hand, really, which has been some dude's skull. Um, I've got this. God knows where it is. It's like a big block of dirt, really. I'm going to be breaking that up and having uh, like strands of uh, like roots and stuff like that dangling down. I've got blue tack all over base of his feet. So yeah, I'm going to have like roots dangling down here. There's a few gaps in the top of the roof. I'm going to have uh, bits dangling down there <coughs> um, I'm probably going to build some more of uh, these cobblestones and have like a little built up area as if uh, tiles have fallen from the roof and landed on the, the base and you know they've not been moved uh, but apart from that uh, this is pretty much the uh, the start of it <coughs> as you can tell I've got a wooden stock I've drawn some lines to uh, basically line out where I'm going to be cutting so that I can basically get some tin foil wrap it round and I've got a base where I can actually put clay onto and I'm not using a stupid amount of clay to basically build it up so I'm going to have it look like dirt and rock all the way around. Oh, sorry. Been looking at the actual piece and not the camera. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I've got cutaways here. I'm going to wrap the base in tin foil. Uh, I'm going to build up all around here. Oh, all on the top and round to basically make it look like rock and dirt and stuff like that. I'll probably have, have some more skulls and stuff in the uh, in the dirt um, but yeah so far this is where I'm uh, I'm kind of dedicating majority of my time to um, I'm also waiting to hear about a commission another commission um, as soon as I've got some information about that I'll uh, I'll be having a, a word with the commissioner um, well, the commissionee 
um, and I'll probably, as soon as I get the stuff off, um, you know, let you guys know that I've got it and it would most probably give me the opportunity to have a, a painting tutorial on uh, how I paint a, a particular chapter. So already you kind of know that I'm going to be painting Space Marines, a type of Space Marine. So without further ado, let's get to the scaving guy and uh, get my question over. So yeah guys, welcome back. Uh, right, the question I have for you lot is, uh, basically I'm new to the whole uh, source lighting. I've decided to give it a go on this guy. As you can see, I've uh, gone quite extensive with the whole soft lighting. <clears throat> uh, it's not finished yet by uh, any length of, uh, you know, any length of going. It still needs a little bit of work doing to it, but. The whole false lighting is definitely in place. Now my question to you guys is, have I gone a little bit OTT? Um, you know, is there too much green? Have I gone a little bit over the top with it? So, uh, yeah, if you can just leave your comments in the uh, information box, well, in the comments uh, space down below, I'd be more than uh, appreciative. I, I do read them all. Uh, so yeah, another thing that I've uh, I've been up to. Oh, pardon me. Oh, just having a, a quick brew. A bit of wind. So yeah, another thing that I've been working, working on is this guy. It's a uh, Inquisitor scale uh, space marine. Well, this is Artemis with the Space Marine helmet add-on. As you can tell, I've green stuffed all his front. Uh, I'm basically just going to town. Get lost. Fuck off. Um, yeah, I'm basically just going to town and I've stripped him, building him up to uh, do a little bust. I've been looking at uh, Massive Voodoo's blog quite a bit, uh, looking through his tutorials quite a lot, and uh, I like what I see really, you know, anyone would be stupid not to like what Massive Voodoo puts out, uh, or Raph, depending on you know what time of terms you're on with him, but yeah, I absolutely love the stuff he's doing, so uh, basically got myself some uh, wood, some wood stocks and uh, this needs uh, filling you know, filing down I badly touched this but it's basically going to be a wooden stock for him to, uh, to sit on it's going to be posed as if he's charging and um, then I'm going to go to town painting him up as uh, best I can really don't know what chapter I'm going to be going with um, no doubt, I'll, I'll probably end up going <laughs> Blood Angels anyway, but I'm going to try not to go Blood Angels. I may, may go Imperial Fist. Inject a little bit of colour into, uh, into my life. Because at the moment in time, it's just red, 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 red and red. And uh, more red, really. Um, yeah. A little bit of word, well, a bit of a, a shout out as a, um, I don't know, whether or not you would call it a shout out, but I've noticed there's quite a lot of people doing, um, doing pre-heresy stuff. Now, I was looking through eBay and I came across a uh, seller. Now, I remember... Manius Augustus Calgar basically getting some pre heresy shoulder pads for his Terminators and uh, 
Unfortunately, it was the last stuff that he managed to get hold of, and he couldn't remember the seller. And I think I found him. So, let's go have a look at his channel. Okay, then, guys, here we are. Uh, let's zoom in. Right. As you can tell, you know, Spartan crests, cloaks, uh, large ornate shoulders, ideal for space marines. Uh, as you can see there, the guy's uh, logo. There you go. Anvil Industries. I'll take you to the front of his page in a bit. There you go, more cloaks. Scroll down. Roman shoulder pads and lorettes, uh, which is basically a fancy uh, Roman shoulder pad. Uh, would be absolutely ideal for pre heresy space marines, uh, sergeants, captains, commanders. Studded shoulder pads, uh, already got a pack of them coming, myself. I've also got the cloaks and the crest. Now, I've bought several stuff from this from this seller. Uh, got a skulls one, a uh, bit ideal for a pre heresy chaplain maybe. Uh, more cloaks, uh, Roman crests. Uh, if you're doing um, ultramarines, um, that would be absolutely spot on. Lunar wolves, um, also spot on. Uh, Arnie shoulder pads, uh, once again, they're large, which would mean terminators. Uh, helm helmets, uh, plated shoulder pads. You know, this guy's pretty much got the whole job lot. Uh, he doesn't have a great deal, but what he does have is, from what I can tell, uh, pretty good. You know, you've got demonic ones, uh, head torsos, uh, demonic romans. So pretty much anything pre-heresy this guy's got it covered so what we'll do is we'll just go have a look at the seller's page there we go anvil anvil industries uh, just type that in and you're laughing guys so yeah thanks for watching guys that's pretty much the end of my uh, my video I will put a link to this guy uh, in the information box down below and uh, definitely check this guy out he's uh, he, he's pretty cool uh, once I get the stuff in the post I'll do a unboxing for you I'll have a few space marines to hand uh, a few terminators to hand and uh, we'll go through and uh, yeah Okay, okay then guys, sub, comment, like, all the uh, usual goodness, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.